Greenwatch in action, heading for the scene of a car accident just outside Guildford city centre. Squeezing through heavy traffic, the team arrives in Bramley, where a car has crashed, its driver injured. While she's attended to by ambulance staff, Greenwatch see to the car, which is leaking fluid. They have to clear the road and clean up at the scene. Fortunately, there are no major injuries. It's the third call of the day for the eight-strong crew of Greenwatch, which is 50% veterans and reservists. So why is there such a crossover? We have the same values and standards, and that's really important for us, the same sense of public duty. And there's one other thing which is unique to all of the military services, and to particularly the police and the fire and rescue services, is that uh, all of us, all of those groups, are willing to put themselves in harm's way in order to protect the public. When the firefighters aren't on call, they're in training. This is a simulation of a chip pan fire. A quarter of Surrey's fire and rescue workers have an armed forces connection, and 5% of them are reservists. As a result, Surrey County Council recently won a Gold Employers Recognition Award from the MOD for its work supporting armed forces personnel. But it's not just about fire. In fact, call-outs for fires have decreased, while call-outs for medical emergencies are on the rise. So these firefighters are now being trained to do the work of the ambulance service. Here, they're practicing how to cut someone out of a car, but they also deal with heart attacks, injury and accidents. But over the past few years, the ambulance service has become a lot busier. The need for us to be more hands-on in terms of first aid has increased significantly and now we're actually taking a proportion of calls from the ambulance service or at least assisting them. We're not replacing them, we just might be the nearest unit available at the time. We're, we're trying to use uh, oxygen therapy, defibrillators and often we've been there at the right time to do the necessary to save a life. The four watches at Guildford are run on military lines and the service has its roots in Royal Navy traditions. A lot of the things we talk about, we're on four watches, uh, so that comes from the Navy as well. We talk about knots and lines, so anyone who's in the Navy will understand a lot of what we do. Even our salute and our drill is naval, uh, is naval drill. And the equipment is bang up to date. This 100 foot high turntable ladder can reach a fire 10 storeys high and it can extend below ground level just as far. Greenwatch has seen action too at Heathland fires, chemical spillages, derailments, unexploded bombs and floods. And a force's background is good preparation for this kind of work. It helps with uh, working with other people, um, especially with the crews, you know, you're living together 24-7. You know, throughout the whole year you're working together. So it sort of helps you to get on, the banter, the laughs. Um, and also, you know, your, your military background gives you the ability to sort of think on your feet and to improvise. It's clear that military skills and training are helping to save lives in Surrey.